This is the book of Romans 15, verse 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. First and foremost, we'll give our honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakadash. Double honor to the elders and the apostles of Great Mills, Stone Haru Well. Shalom to the hopeful like men that scattered abroad, pushing the truth without sincerity. Shalom to a few sisters that's getting in orders at these last days. Right? Coming to the quick hitter, you know, Lord willing, edifying, faith booster. You know, done, you know, this video has came out plenty of times. You know, just speaking about the um the ancient time our forefathers man you know trials and tribulations right and we know that right now we're in the current time of we're at the doorstep of all hell breaking loose jacob's trouble you know despite that uh what's going on right now in the media you know the uh the montgomery shit you know we still keep our head on the swivel keep our armor geared tight understand that we finna go inside some real troubling times all right and we must always keep the um the things written before time, right, on our mind, right? That's gonna keep us geared up, you know, wired tight inside these times to come, knowing that we have to be in the mix, you know, right? And and a great example is, you know, this story right here. All right, I'm not gonna go into it, I just want to bring out the just the point, you know, keeping your mind sharp, man. You know, think about reflect on the times of our forefathers, man, how they had went through the time of uh, temptation, you know, uh 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 yeah, adversity, and they and they made it through, you know. And like I said, you go to Daniel chapter three and speak about the holy, the three holy children, right? Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego, right? But it says, for whatsoever things were written before time were written for our learning, right? Because they, the Lord already knew. I'm 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 gonna set this up right now. I'm gonna set this scenario up, right? So y'all can reflect off of it, you know. Speaking on, you know, the, uh, the three holy children, right? They had to go through the furnace, right? In a burning furnace to the point the man that, that lowered them down in there died. That's how hot the furnace was, right? And when you look at this picture, you know, you can see in the background, you can see like the neck part, right? And that's supposed to be, you know, Yahweh Shah. You know, in these times to come, we shouldn't be having no doubts, right? Because we got to go through it. It ain't no, oh, I'm saved already, you know? We got to go through it. He that shall endure until the end, the same shall be saved. You know? All right, so I'm going to read this back one more time. It says, Romans 15, verse 4. For whatsoever things were written for time, were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. All right? And I just want to jump, you know, to the book of Sirach. Verse 10. Right, this, right, these, these, scriptures are, these scriptures are going to be what's going to comfort us inside these times. Right. So, it says, Sirach 2, verse 10. Look at the generations of old and see. Did ever any trust in the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, and was confounded, right? Because, hey, end of the day, we come into a, a symbolic time, right? Yet, um, I'm going to speak on, matter of fact, I can speak on two examples, right? Starting off with them, you know, um, um, Mishayak, Shirek, and Abednego, right? They was do what? They, what, what? What was their temptation? To bow down. You know, when they hear the music, right? When you go inside the story. Also, another one. It, man, that's, 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 that's probably, hey, that's neck and neck, right? We go to the on the book of um, Second Maccabees chapter seven. Go to the seven children, right? What was their temptation? Hey, they had to uh, taste swine's flesh, and they had the mindset of telling the king, "We are ready to die than to transgress the law." Right? Meaning, so therefore they had to go through this adversity, right? But keeping that faith, keep that integrity, hey. They, even though they, even though they, 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 um, you know, uh, they got, you know, put, put the death, but it was only for a moment, you know, because we know that hey, the Lord's elect, <clears throat> some may, pass, you know, some may, you know, get knocked to the spiritual realm for a moment, right? But the dead shall rise first, as the scripture says. Right. So in these times to come, we have to be in the 
same mindset. You know we have to go through the time, the hour of temptation, arriving, right? Revelation 13 and 16. You know? But the thing about it is, like this picture, man. Your house shall be in the midst of us, man. Where he say, my servant shall eat, my servant shall drink. You know? Where he's, um, like how it was when they went um, into the wilderness. You know, they closed, they closed, did not deteriorate, right? Yeah, how shall gonna be every day? Yeah, how about shall gonna be there every step of the way? And we must keep that in mind, man. Like I said, despite of what's going on, the confusion around us, getting us, you know, getting a lot of, I'm say, the other people, because, you know, we paying attention over here. You know? You know, we, hey, we staying level headed. We, we steady, you know, keeping these things in mind. Right? You saw Enos gonna come down with great wrath. Right, but we must keep our head on the swivel and understand that, hey, it's about to get real, real crazy out here, man. Right? Matter of fact, I'll start back up. I'm, I'm, I'm going to start up at, um, I'm going to start back up at Sirach 2, verse 1. Then I'm going to jump back down to it. So like, it says, my son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Right? And this is what we're doing, man. Preparing our soul. We're, we, we're reading up on how our forefathers had to go through this, man. Had to go through those, those these trying times. And what they did, hey, they got through it. You know? And if they did, if they did had to pass away like, like the seven brothers, guess what? They died with the knowledge. They kept the faith. They stood on business. And this is what we should be doing, man. Right? Um, Verse 2. Set thy heart aright and constantly, right? Continually, right? Endure, right? And you know, endure the means, you know, make hard, right? It means to suffer, right? So we about to come to a time like temptation, right? But the Lord tell you, hey, when you come to serve, prepare thy, prepare thy soul, right? Prepare thy soul for temptation, right? Like, hey, this um, the three, the three holy men. You don't think they would? You didn't think they had to? You know, that was a temptational time, right? That was a test, right? They could easily say, you know what? Fuck it. It's too, I know that shit hot. And, 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 and bow down to the music. You know, we come to a time where, hey, people are gonna be tempted to the point where, hey, you know what? My baby, I think my baby's gonna pass away. Let me go ahead and just feed him. Let me, let me take the carabas so I can get them some food. You know? But, hey, we gotta, we gotta keep this in mind, man. You have about you, my shot gonna see us through. You know? Um. says uh, Sirach 2 verse 10 look at the generations of old and see did ever any trust in the Lord and was co-founded right hey my, I always bring up you know Elijah you know getting fed you know hey wasn't forsaken or did a, or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken or whom did he ever despise that called upon him right and it's just the point man you know Thinking about these accounts, thinking about how the Lord delivered, right? He showed up. He gonna show up regardless, but you gotta believe that. You know? I'm gonna um, I'm gonna jump to the book of Ephesians 6, you know, just something real quick. You know, call a lot of y'all by Shimmy Oshaz, another precept that was added on to me. How about she all shot proud, man? So with that being said, hey, we gotta be walking in the ways, man. Be prepared that hey, he about to try us like never before. Right. So this right here, the book of um Ephesians 6, verse 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh and in the power of his might. Alright, be strong, man. Alright, be Man, you hey, look, they didn't even think twice. Even with the seven children, they didn't even think twice. He said, "We are rather to die than transgress the law." He said, "What he said? He said, uh, he spake, he spake quickly to that, something to that effect. He spake quickly. 
like, hey, come on with it. Go ahead and put me to sleep. You know, I, and what he said, he know that we're going to have a, a, a resurrection of life. You know? We already know what's after this. Esau can't do nothing. You know? He says, be strong in the Lord, right? Because, hey, we show up to the plate. Yeah, how about you, my child, going to show up to the plate, right? He going to help us out, you know? It says, verse 11, it says, put on the whole armor of your how about you, my child, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil, right? And that's the whole thing about it, man. Our forefather had on the whole armor to the point where, hey, if it came down to it, same thing today. You ready? Got to be ready to put your life on the line for come down to it, man. You know, and that wild's going to craftiness of the devil. Who's that devil? Right? Going to the Greek word Diablos. You know, you saw Edom, right? Not Job 9 24. Man, the earth is going to the hands of the wicked. You know? So it was just something quick that was on my spirit. Man, I, I see this picture and just, I reflect on it a lot. You know? Because it, it just proved the point that, hey, we have to go through these times. To see the miracle of Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh shot, you know, pull through for us, man. Right? And so, Lord, one of those edifying and faith boosting, you know, I'm going to close up by giving all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh shot, by Hashem, and Kakadash. Till next time, Shalom, stay up and stay in the spirit. Hey, stay strong. Shalom.